Hello, my lovelies. My name is Abla K, and welcome to the other vlog video we're doing. So today we are touring around Detroit. We just ate at the Parthenon, which was really delicious. It was a Greek restaurant, and I ate a bunch of bread and cheese. Absolutely, I'm going to crossing the street right now. Made it safe. I like it. All right, and we're going through and touring everything, so you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of what I see too. Right now, we're in a really cool mall with all of these like chandelier things in the background, and we're walking through. There's a casino here, as you guys can see right here, which everybody's really excited too, because little known fact, gambling is actually illegal in Alaska. So we don't have lottery tickets, we don't have casinos or anything like that. So it's always kind of fun to do that, as long as you don't go crazy with it, you know. One of those those vices, I suppose. Um, but I'm more interested in walking around and seeing all the cool sights and getting ice cream and spending time with family than that. But a casino would also be kind of fun. So to get a better view of Detroit, we are taking these handy dandy little Detroit, what is it, transportation? <laughs> Corporation, yes, Detroit Transportation Corporation tokens, and we're going to ride the little people mover across the city. So I'm going to show you guys that it's going to be pretty neat. I've been on it before, but I haven't been on it with my family. These guys all in the background here, so that'll be fun. Are you having problems getting through? Yes. You gotta go through like fast. Always one. Come around this one, no All right. <laughs> you can get through, I believe in you. And... Yay! Success! <laughs> yeah, but we did it! We definitely did it. He's got hips that don't lie. Oh. <laughs> there you go. They, I was going to say they can use it. <laughs> So hopefully we can get back on and do it again because the city is beautiful, especially on the people mover and I want to show that to you guys. But now we're walking the sunny streets at the moment and we're going to yeah. a bunch of different locations and today has so far just been a really uh, yeah. awesome, fun time and I'm excited to continue to share this with y'all. Hey, so we are home from Detroit and now we dropped off the mother-in-law and father-in-law and now we're at... Cabela's, which is interesting. So the reason we're here, even though we have one of these in Alaska, is because it was just built here in Michigan. And so my family wants to see, of course, all of the taxidermied animals and fish and just kind of what's going on inside the store. So I would much rather be at Sonic because that's something we don't have in Alaska and I'm super excited about because I am a foodie, always. The way to win my heart, guys, food. Buy me food and drinks and chocolate and cheese. But other than that, we're gonna have as much of a good time as we can in Cabela, so let's see what's going on in here. All right, well, the first thing we have is taxidermy deer on a ledge here with whoever this man is. Literally read it. Maybe it. Fred Bear? It says Fred Bear. All right. All Go ahead with a good attitude and respect for the wildlife you hunt and for the forests and fields in which you walk. Immerse yourself in the outdoor experience. It will cleanse your soul and make you a better person. I wonder if he, uh, killed a lot of things. He looks like he'd be a hunter. <sighs> I mean, the rest just kind of looks like a regular Cabela's. We got dead animals here. It looks like dead animal heads hanging everywhere else. 
The one we have here in Alaska is so much cooler than this. I don't know how we're gonna spend time with an hour here, probably from the uh, freaking gun library that my family wants to look at. Look at all those guns, guys. And all these guns. All the guns. We should have had those when we were in Detroit. <laughs> Would have been safer. All right. All of these. Oh, they have them taxidermied to look like they're running away. That's really interesting. Okay, so they do have some moose. They have a mama moose and a uh, adult moose. That's actually pretty cool. Black. You can pause the video and read it if you really want, because I'm not going to. Hey, there's some more ducks, Mr. Boone. Mr. Boone duck jam. Looking at you. And a wolverine. Nasty creatures. We have those in Alaska too. Although something we don't have in Alaska, which is kind of interesting, are these turkeys. These turkeys are really, really cool. Especially this guy going, squaw, wanting to attack us. Oh, well, hello there. You look fierce. Same with your buddy there. <laughs> That's pretty much it as far as Cabela's goes, so... Yeah, kind of cool, but I mean, nothing crazy. Although, there are wolves over here. So let's take a look at these wolves real quick. <laughs> ah, that's what the deer being chased from. I understand now. So cool. So like I was saying, that's pretty much the extent of this new Cabela's. It's not that different from the Alaska one. However, the Alaska one is way, way cooler than this one is because we have even more taxidermied animals than these. And we have an aquarium with different fish in them that are local to Alaska. And we have a bigger, I didn't even see the cafe slash fudge slash nut stands in here yet. Maybe I just haven't looked hard enough, but I'm not impressed. The one in Alaska is a far better Cabela's than this one. Although it's nice that Michigan finally has one because I'm pretty sure this is the only one in Michigan at the moment. So that's good. It's a good start, I guess. I know that this was still an extremely expensive store build. So there's just nothing here for me. I'm not a Cabela's hunting, fishing type person, even though my father definitely, definitely is. And that's how I ended up in Alaska to begin with. But that, my friends, is a story for another day. So I will go ahead and get off now. Look at this cute little setup, guys, of tents. I could come in here and I can pretend to be homeless. Because isn't that what camping is all about? <laughs> Being homeless outdoors when you could really be inside playing video games and having fun. What the heck is this contraption? I mean, I can see the box and it says deer feeder, but my first reaction was tiny water tower. And I thought, why? What is the point of that? And then they're right by these little pop-up cubes. Granted, I'm sure they're for hiding in to hunt deers and such, but they just look so odd. Like little huts that Ewoks would live inside of. This is so tiny. Finally got my Sonic drink and it's chocolate chip with strawberries in it. And I haven't had Sonic in a couple years, so this is amazing as you can see I've already eaten some of it because it's just too good not to eat. So I finally got back home with my family and we went to Five Below and Marshalls and Sonic, which I already showed you guys, but Five Below was so cool. I've never been in that store before and it's like a dollar store, but it's in everything is five dollars and below. Ha 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 ha. So says the name. And they have really, really, really cool stuff in there. Not just cheesy, cheap things, you know, like dollar store, but they have that too, but they also have really cool stuff. So it was a treat to go in there and I bought a lot of things. I also bought a really cute Namakimono pillow and Namakimono is sloth in Japanese. You guys know my affinity for sloths. And I got some cute kind of fun beauty mask and different stuff at Marshalls as well. I'll show you guys 
what it is I all got because I'm especially excited to show you my Makemono pillow in just a second here. Hey guys, so I decided I was going to show you what it is that I was all able to get. Commercials, I got the easy stuff. That's all you need to know. Nothing fun or exciting. The fun things that I got were actually at five below. So, first, these really, really cute Lotte Koala's March candies. They're Japanese. I have never actually seen them before, but they are a little bit like, they're kind of like the Meiji Pandas, except freaking koalas doing all these different cute faces, and I have never seen them, and they remind me of Meiji. So, obviously, I'm going to have to try them because they're freaking adorable. Additionally, speaking of Japanese candies, I was able to find Pocky flavors that you cannot get in Alaska. So there's cookies and cream, which is of course a favorite of many people's, and one of mine as well. There is banana foster, no it is a chocolate banana Pocky, which the stick itself is chocolate flavor, which is very different and super duper awesome. And then of course it has the banana frosting flavoring on top of that, which is really, really cool. And I got a strawberry pocky, which you might be thinking, oh, but Alexa, there's so many strawberry flavored pockies everywhere. And yes, I do have strawberry flavored pockies in Alaska. However, these particular pockies are heart-shaped Valentine's pockies, which you might be wondering, what does that even mean? Well, if you look carefully, look at the sticks. The sticks are actually shaped like hearts, and the frosting has little pieces of strawberries infused within it. And if you look on the back, you can see that the stick itself is actually shaped like a heart even around the frosting, which is so freaking cute. And of course it has all those extra strawberries, even just for the packaging. The fact that it's strawberry cream covered little heart biscuits are so cute. And I was so happy to see all of these because you just get the basic Pocky and strawberry Pocky in Alaska. So I'm excited to try all three of these in addition to my little koala buddy, of course. And what I really wanted to show you guys, the creme de la creme of all of my findings today is... Look at this guy! Oh my god, he's so freaking cute! He has the chubby little cheeks. Ah, he's so squishy. He's made out of I don't even know exactly what he's made out of. It seems like he's made out of kind of memory foam kinetic sand. He doesn't have the regular stuffing or cotton filling that you would usually see in stuffed animals, which is really, really interesting. Um, but he is just flipping adorable. He's my little Namakimono. I saw him and of course I had to have him because you guys know my affinity with sloths and everything else. They're my favorite animals in addition to pandas, but there were no pandas and this guy would have sealed the deal anyway to any panda little squishy baby. And I might use him as a pillow on the plane back because he is super duper soft. So I didn't have anything going there, so I think I'd be my pillow on the way back. And I really want to make a shelf to display all of my slogs that I have because I have quite a few. And I think it would be fun to have them in the background of my videos when I get back home and I'm recording. That way it's something fun in the background to see if I get more to show you guys my collection. And then that way I can kind of see them more like just for myself because I have all these really cute things and I kind of spread out around my house, like in my bedroom, my closet, and in my basement too. So I think it'd be nice to keep them all in one place and have them displayed, so not just for me, but for you guys as well. And show them your amazing cuteness. <laughs> oh my god, I could do this all day because look at him, he's just too cute not to He's so squishy. Alright, so that was my haul today at Five Below, and hopefully you guys like that because I just had to share this with you. <laughs> Three, two, one, jump!